Liana is one of the northern leaders being visited by Jon Snow, Sansa Stark, and Davos Seaworth, who are attempting to rally the north against House Bolton who currently occupies Winterfell. Sansa and Jon try to flatter her, but Liana brusquely brushes them off, demands to know why they are at Bear Island, and questions whether Jon and Sansa are technically even Starks, the former being a bastard, and the latter being twice married into enemy houses. She refuses to offer her men to them until Davos steps in. He tells her that the real war is not between different houses, but between the living and the dead. A divided north cannot hope to stand against the Night King. After some reflection, Lady Mormont agrees to help, but can only offer 62 fighting men, as so many of their soldiers were massacred at the Red Wedding. Undaunted, she insists that the hardy warriors of Bear Island are worth many times their own number in battle. She personally leads these men when John travels to Stannis's old camp. Lyanna is present when John and Sansa parley with Ramsay Bolton ahead of their battle. She doesn't speak, but scowls at Ramsay when he mockingly says he'll pardon any northern lords for treason if they lay down their arms, knowing everything he says is a lie. She does not fight during the battle itself, and presumably stayed behind at the camp. Lyanna is among those present at Winterfell after the battle. As the Knights of the Vale, the many northern lords, and the free folk bicker, she stands in the assembly and calls out the Manderleys, Glovers, and Sirwins for refusing John and Sansa's call to arms. She then declares that she doesn't care if John is a bastard, because Ned Stark's blood runs through his veins. She is the first to proclaim John the new king in the north, and is quickly followed by the others, 